Hey guys, Ashley here from Glow Body Personal Training, and today I have for you an ultimate shoulders and back workout to get you nice and strong and toned and lean backs. Um, and also, this is really why I did it, guys. So make sure that you're not getting back strains while you're pregnant or after you have a baby. As a mommy, you're constantly bending over, picking up crumbs and dirt and, and picking up baby over, over the crib, carrying a um, carrying a car seat, carrying pretty much everything. So this is going to keep you strong and keep you from getting injured. All you need is one set of dumbbells. I recommend 10 pounds or less, as well as your stability ball to get started. All right, we're going to start with a stretch. Usually I let you stretch on your own, but this is one of my most favorites and I can't help but share it. All right, right arm up, left arm is going to grasp your right wrist and you're going to look to the left. You're bending over slowly at the waist and reaching that palm, that open palm against the opposite wall. Now slowly bring it around. This is what I call it, around the world. Reach across the room. You're looking down at the ground. You're stretching your back. Now tighten that core and slowly lift yourself up as you're looking up simultaneously. And look forward. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna switch arms. Left arm up, your right arm is grabbing that left wrist and looking towards the right wall. Looking at that wall, bending over at the waist, gently pulling on that wrist and pushing at the same time with that left palm as far away from you as possible. Your back is nice and straight, your back is strong, it's stretching, getting limber. So you're looking down, all right, when you slowly lift up, and look up at the same time. It's one nice, beautiful movement. All right, now if you like that, stop and pause this video. Go ahead and do around the world one more time on each arm. I feel pretty limber just after doing it that one time. So first exercise, you're gonna be doing squat pull and squat press. Grab your dumbbells. You're bending down carefully, always using your legs and not bending over in half. Using your legs is critical to not getting back strains. All right, your legs are in a wide squat stance. Toes pointing forward, knees pointing forward. Your weights are um, just parallel with your legs as mine are. We're gonna be squatting down and pulling up as you stand up. Lovely. I wanna see your elbows nice and high. Your chest is up and open. You're breathing, lovely. Never holding the breath. Don't try to go through this exercise quick. Also, we want you to focus on good squat forms. We talk about this a lot. We're gonna be squatting tons during our pregnancy. It's so good at strengthening our pelvic floor. Beautiful. That's it. Good job. Nice and tight. Using your shoulders to get it up. Your upper back to get it up while you're getting your booty nice and low, doing a proper squat. Beautiful. All right, stay with me. You've got it. Your back is gonna feel so good tomorrow. Trust me, if you're not sore tomorrow after this workout, give me a comment and let me know. We'll have to do something about that. Three, two, one, and relax. You stay in here with me with your weights. If you want to set them down for a minute and get some water, it's perfectly okay. All right, we're super setting our squat pulls with a squat press now. I'm gonna go to the side so you can see good form. All right, ready? All right, weights up here at our shoulders. Our elbows are not straight up yet. They're nice and relaxed in a neutral position. So my weights are next to my shoulders. They're parallel to the ceiling. Be squatting down and pushing up. Perfect, get them up. Nice deep squat. Your knees are in line with your toes. Check your toes, they're looking forward. Beautiful. You're sitting back as if you're sitting back into a little tiny kid chair. That's it, mommy. Your back is gonna be so strong and toned after this. And get it up. And engage those lats. Feel it back there. Picture your muscles getting tighter, 
getting stronger. So she's starting to burn just a little bit. All right, three, two, one, and bend over properly. Put your weights down before we go back through a shorter session of that super set right there. Um, I'd say my biggest pet peeve, the thing I feel worse for is when mommies are bending over like, like this. I'm just doing this to show you, but it's the worst. And picking up baby off the floor after diaper changes, um, just moving her around. We really have to make sure we're always bending at the knee, using our arms to pick up baby. It's gonna be really important as a new mommy. The last thing you need to be is bedridden. Um, as a brand new mom or a mom of two or three, and then you have a new baby that you can't take care of because your back's hurt. So the time is now during your um, your prenatal exercise training to make sure we really strengthen our backs. All right, back to the back to your super set again. Um, squat pull, bending out properly, and pulling it up. That's it. Pull it up. You're gonna pick up the pace just a little bit. Don't worry, I'm not gonna pull you through as many reps as last time. Beautiful, you're pulling, engaging your triceps a little bit, your shoulders, your upper back, your squats are great. That's it, mommy. You're so strong, you're so capable. Beautiful. Squatting can even be a great labor pose if you're into that. All right, squat up. And press, press, that's it. Nice fluid movement. Your shoulders are strong. You're getting them up there. Lovely, that's it. Just a few more. Three, two, get low in the squat. One, and you're done. All right, let's put our weights down for a minute. All right, next exercise is gonna be standing flat. I'm gonna show you it without weights first. All right, your knees are gonna just be in a, a slightly bent position, no locked up knees, so we don't need. Slightly bent, nice and, nice and stable base here. You're leaning over at your waist. Weights are gonna come up, and you're gonna fly. Now, if you can't get your weights that high, that's okay. Sometimes I can't either. I definitely get sore from my lap swimming. So sometimes my weights only gets right here. That's perfectly fine, mommy. But you're looking up, you're gonna squeeze. All right, let's do it. Neutral. Neutral knees, I'm bending over at the waist, and fly. Lovely. So we're retracting our shoulder blades together. Nice and tight. Awesome. Getting ready for your your tanky knee and one piece swimsuits. Getting so strong. That's it, mommy. Keep it up. Three, two, one. Put one weight down. All right, take your free hand. We're going to offset our legs just a little bit. Bend that front knee slightly. Gently rest. Rest this hand just like this. So you've got an L-shaped position. You're resting it here. You're not leaning down. None of this. You're up, just hardly touching it, but using it for good support and balance. Starting to sweat. This is definitely tough. All right, so as we row, we're pulling up our weight, and it's coming right to the center of the side of our obliques here. Not back here at our hip, not at our breast, right in the center. You're looking forward. You're retracting that shoulder blade, and you're tightening it at the top of the move. Beautiful. Nice and tight and strong back. It's getting firmer. You're not gonna have that, um, that bulge <laughs> um, under your bra. You can definitely eliminate it by strengthening and turning your back by doing this exercise. And row. Awesome. This is real and doubly sweating. Three, two, one, switch sides. Okay, off 
setting my legs, getting that L shape, just gently resting it on my upper thigh here, not bearing down on it. Also making sure that your knee isn't going over your toe line. You should be able to see your toes from where you're at. That's it. Squeeze, mommy. Your elbows are tucked in. They're not flared out here. You're tucking them in. Your back is tight. You're breathing. You're looking up. Your back's getting so strong. Wonderful. Make sure you're not putting too much pressure on that front leg. That's it. And row. Tracking the shoulder blade, getting it close to the other shoulder blade when you come up. And squeeze. Squeeze. That's it. Your back is looking awesome already. Three, two, one. Grab your other wing. Back to a short mini set. To super set what we just did. Nice and neutral knees. They're a little bit bent. Feeling good. Check it out. I'm just kidding, but you know what you want to do. All right, and fly. Yes, mommy. Beautiful, strong, sleek back. Awesome arms. Here they come. Here we go. Are you doing it? Just a few more, I promise. Three, two, one. Put one weight down. And row. Same arm as we started with last time. You're rowing. You feel it in your shoulders, your upper back. Squeeze your upper back, the more you engage your muscles, the more benefit you get out of every exercise. And if you're doing it already with me right now, you may as well maximize that benefit and engage your muscles as much as possible at the top of this move. Three, two, one, switch sides. You see your toes as you look down. Your back is nice and straight and strong. And squeeze. Get it up there. Awesome shoulders. You're going to have shoulders their other mommies wish they had. Beautiful. All right. Three, two, one. Put your weights down. I want you to slowly get down to the ground yourself. Now I know a lot of us ladies don't like push-ups that much. They're not my favorite either, but there is this move that I absolutely love. Um, it's called Renegade Man Makers, and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do a modified version today. I don't want us um, hopping up like we will be post pregnancy So we're gonna stay on the ground while we do this. We're gonna do a modified push-up on our knees, and um, you will need your two dumbbells on the floor. I forgot to mention, if you don't have a carpet like I do, this would be a great time to get out your yoga mat and roll it up in half or one thirds to protect your knees. All right, so you get your dumbbells out. You're on your knees. Um, right now, I'm, I have a nice flat back. I'm gonna scoot this forward just a little bit. So my weights are up here. Get nice and straight. Your legs, your hamstrings are engaged. They're nice and tight. Your back is strong. You're slowly going to do a push-up. You're lifting up just a little bit. Two push-ups and two rows. One, two. Push-up, push-up, and opposite arm. One, two. There you go. You're doing it, Mommy. One, two. If you need a recovery stance, this is your move, okay? Stay right here. Don't try to don't try to get out of the position completely all together if you don't have to. One, two. All right, we're gonna do one more set on each arm. Beautiful, good push-ups. Your elbows are in, you're getting down as low as you can. Never bouncing your baby belly off the floor without two push-ups. And sit up on your knees. Lovely. I'm gonna go through one more round of that. Renegade Man Makers. All right, let's do it, mommies. Back on your knees. Carefully lean over, grab your weights. 
slide them out just a little bit so your back is nice and straight. And two push outs. With the row. Remember the good row we talked about before. You're pulling that weight up to the side of your oblique. Perfect. And pushing up. And row. Tight. Retracting your shoulder blades. Lovely. And push up. Last set here, right arm. You're doing it, honey. Your back is looking so darn good. And left arm. Two, one. And relax. Now it's time to just push your weights away a little bit and grab your stability ball. Alright, so next move is a back extension with pelvic tilt. Lean forward on the ball. Your belly should not have any, any force or resting against the ball. It's simply on your chest. If it's hurting your chest, that probably means your ball is too overinflated. Just deflate it a little bit. Your hands are going to be right here using it as support, but not pushing you up. Your hands are just to help you maintain balance. Alright, your neck is nice and neutral. You're looking down just gently right over your ball at the floor. We're going to do back extension and pelvic tilt. When I do that pelvic tilt, I feel my pelvis tuck in and I'm squeezing in there to do the Kegel at the same time. So you're using the same muscles that you would as if you were stopping yourself from having to go pee really badly. All right, back extension and pelvic tilt. Squeeze it, Kegel. Back extension, nice and controlled, and pelvic tilt. So I've got it napping, but <laughs> the dog's running around this time. It's always somebody, right? And pelvic tilt with that squeeze, that Kegel in there is critical to strengthening, toning your pelvic floor. This will be really important for your labor. And postpartum, to make sure everything down there is working as it should be after you have baby. And tuck it in. And pelvic tilt with your Kegel and back extension. As you're doing that back extension, it's just such a small move, but you're feeling in this whole part of your back. I can feel it from all the way up here to all the way down there. Nice and tight. Pelvic tilt. Lovely. Just three more. That was three, two. Great job, mommy. And one. Pelvic tilt. Beautiful. All right. Next move does not require a stability ball. But if you want a more advanced version of it, I'm going to show you how to do that as well. I'll show you the, the basic move first. It's a straight arm, straight leg, pulse. All right, you're down on all fours. Your back is nice and straight. Taking your right arm up with your left arm. So opposite arm to opposite leg and pulse. Just like that. That's the basic move. This is the advanced move. Grab your stability ball. The same exact function, except you're balancing on your ball like this. All right, let's do it. And you're pulsing. You're squeezing your lower back. If you're standing right now, like I am with a stability ball, the leg that's based doesn't have a locked up knee. So relax, allowing you to have great stability. You're looking down and forward just slightly. And you're pulsing up, elongating your arm elongating that straight leg behind you and keeping your whole back side nice and tight. Nice and lean back. Great job, mommy. All right, three, two, one. Switch sides. Get it up there. Maintain your balance. If you feel it off balance at all, there's no shame in doing Doing the basic move, just getting on the floor. He is great form right now. I'm squeezing my back. You should feel it in your glutes, lower back, upper back. Straighten that arm, straighten that back leg, and pulse up. What a small move for so much results. That's it. Three, two, 
one and stand up if you put your stability ball out of the way. All right, we're on to our finale exercise. I love this one, it's called arm circles. Grab your weights. All right, weights are facing down. We're gonna start with small circles. There you go. Waking up those shoulder muscles, your deltoids, that's it. Nice and small. All right, medium sized circles, still going forward circle. Beautiful, mommy. You have long, sexy, lean arms and strong shoulders. All right, a little bit bigger of a circle. Nice and slow, controlled movement. These are large circles. Nice, in reverse, large circles. I feel it, my shoulders are on fire. I know this is working. All right, medium circles. And small circles, that's it. Great job, Ani. You're gonna need these strong shoulders for carrying that car suit oh so soon. All right, weights down. We're gonna freestyle for a little bit. All right, short, little teeny tiny circles right at shoulder height. That's it, these are fast circles. As tiny as you can make them. They look kind of goofy, so don't laugh at me right now. <laughs> Your feet are shoulder width apart, maintaining good form. All right. Do a self check. You're looking, making sure that your arms aren't slouching downward like this. Want them right up. Perpendicular to your body. Medium circles. Slow it down a little bit. Medium. Mm -hmm. As our circles get bigger, freestyling, our pace is going to get slower. All right, large circles, nice and slow. Great job, mommy. Straighten those arms. Lean, sexy, long arms. Tone shoulders. Tone upper back. Squeeze that upper back. That's it, reverse, big circles. I went them bigger. Get it higher, that's it. You got it, girl. You were so strong, so capable. All right, medium circles, picking up the pace because our circle's getting smaller. You're doing it. We're almost done. This is the finale exercise, I promise. All right, small circles, fast. Move those shoulders, mama. Woo! You got it. Your shoulders and back are going to look amazing. You got it, girl. Keep it up, tiny circles. Do a self check. Good form. Three, two, one, and relax. Woo! I want you to go ahead, do a round the world stretch again on your own. If you like this workout, please press subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you have a safe, healthy, happy, and fit pregnancy. Bye, guys.